In the previous lecture, I showed you that if you select the camera, press control, and move the X axis, the axis system is really changing position. You notice how the red axis here, the X axis that now is pointing upward. Now, why is that? I will explain to you that in a different example, a simple one. I have here two layers in 3D where the anchor point of the rectangle and the layer are just at the same spot for both of them so there is no confusion you notice now i am in the local access mode there are three switches here you want to say that determine which access mode you are using so by default after effects goes for the local access mode what does it mean let's choose this layer choose our rotation tool and rotate on the x-axis you notice that the y and z axis are rotating so actually in local mode the access system is not fixed but it is fixed according to the layer so the x-axis will always point in that direction according to the layer to that direction of the layer the y-axis to that direction of the layer and the z-axis outward perpendicular to the layer so if i rotate the layer the axes are also rotating so now there is a big difference between these axes and these axes they're not the same each one of the layers has its own axis system according to the layer let's take this one and rotate it let's rotate it on the y you notice that the red and the blue that is x and z are rotating same same for here if i rotate on the z you notice the axes are truly rotating now since this is a local mode it means the orientation of the axis are always according to the orientation of the layer that's pretty good that is give you a lot of power to work between layers so you know how this layer is pointing that is z let me open the p now that we have rotated these layers i want you to look at the position and the position coordinates when i move according to the axis let me choose the x axis I will take one layer at a time and choose the x-axis you notice x only is moving that's normal let's take the y now and you notice now the y is not the only parameters that is changing it's the y and z parameter that are changing because the local axis here has changed if i use the z you notice also not only the z is changing now if i use the other rectangle and I use the Z, you notice the Z and the X are changing, it's moving. And if I use the Y, maybe only the Y is changing. And if I use the X, of course, X and Z are gonna change because I did the rotation. Now, these coordinates are according to the world view, world access mode. It means the world view. If I click on this mode, notice now the axes are identical whatever the rotation is if i take the rotation tool for example and use that layer to rotate notice only x is rotating if now i take the x and start rotating you notice the axes are not moving the axis now in the world axis mode the axes are fixed according to the world you could just imagine them in the corner of the composition you know totally not moving so now the axes are not moving you see how so y did not move or z and x did not move according to the y let's take here the orientation or we're going to take the rotation we don't want the rotation we want orientation only so what i will do i will write here orientation let's enter i see only the orientation fine look at the orientation now for each layer okay now you see that in the shapes only the X is moving if you were in local mode and I rotate many are moving I'll use the Y you notice several coordinates are changing so in the world axis mode axes do not rotate the layers rotate and all the coordinates change and we said that the coordinates here according to the world axis mode the last one is the view axis mode if i click on it this one is only about the views for example if i choose this view and go to 
custom view the access system now is according to the view they completely changed and they have nothing to do with the layer or with the old access if you're looking from that point for example here you are your access are all identical and you're working with the view and that is also not bad it's okay but it's totally useless for the active camera so you're just orienting according to the view sometimes it's good sometimes you can manipulate things with it but not really i don't find it maybe you might find a very good use to it you notice when i change the views the whole access system changed for the three of them the layer and the cameras and everything if i take front view or custom view 2 you notice also it has changed so the x is according to the x of the view this is a front view y is according to the up that is the front view so it points up and and the z is also pointing outward same same for all the elements that you have in this layer now let's go back to local view i will continue the lesson with local view this is the default mode and local view is quite powerful because it will tell me where my layer is moving it's true i want to move it in the z but moving it in the z space or the z space does not mean that it's moving absolute it's moving relative to itself and that's pretty interesting and pretty powerful by the way in the world view i know exactly where my layer is positioned according to the whole composition not relative to other layers so i will have to always look at the axis sometimes in animation you don't want to do that you want to be able to move a layer in space according to another layer and actually if you think about it you do not move in the world in the real world you do not move according to the axis to get to somebody you move according to that somebody if it's at 10 feet from you you will direct yourself according to that person and you move according to his axis or your orientation if you want to orient yourself according to the world axis to move 10 feet toward that person that's standing at a certain distance from you then you got some problems you know your x and y and your steps so what do you do you orient yourself toward that person so your access system is going towards him so your x is facing him so you oriented yourself i don't know if this example will make sense to you but really in real world we do not work with world access we work with you know relative access that's what's called the map and the relative access is according to the layer itself here and in after effect they call them local access mode world access mode is relative to the world is only it's fixed and only relative to the composition altogether. The view access mode is quite helpful, but it's only for the views. So I hope you understood me. It's not complicated. The most important that you know that I'm gonna continue with the local access mode and not the world access mode. The world access mode could be useful for you if you are you know, trying to do difficult animations and getting lost in between layers. You can use the world access mode. But now, what I do not recommend at all, is to start switching now you use the local access mode you make a movement you use the camera tools then you go to world uh, access mode and try to find out what's happening and move the axis it is very hard to do that you have to be a really very strong special person and knowing exactly what's happening in your composition all your layers so i hope you like this uh, lecture i hope i was very informative now some uh, lessons will tell you use the world access mode because you are a beginner i will not recommend that i will go to local access mode and start working with local access mode it is much better to orient layers according to each other and according to themselves than to orient the layers according to the whole composition if you have very many layers then things will become very hard you notice when we did multi planning i used local access mode i didn't even mention it and everything went very fine and we could see how our layers are oriented if we had used the word access mode in the multi planning then you know every time you move a layer the axis will stay fixed and you're doubting where your layer is really pointing true in short local access mode will show you the axis will show you where your layer is pointing in the three axes and in the word it show you where your layer is positioned according to the whole composition thank you very much for listening